So, people, I was watching, um, I was watching one of Sage's reviews about Violent J about, um, I think it's Violence Jack? Yeah. Um, you know, if anybody's seen Violent Jack, let's just be glad. Let's just say I've heard things about it, and trust me, I never want to, s I've never seen it. And if anybody says that otherwise, I haven't. Okay? Okay. But, you know... It really shows how some of us viewers, some of you viewers are like to tease our fans or like, you know, we feel like we owe, owe them things. Like, you know, I'm not like a full-on reviewer, but I'd never really promise you guys something I couldn't review. I mean, I mean, you know, I can never, you know, I can never say, oh, I'm going to review School Days or I'm going to review, I'm going to give you a freaking... Evangelion review, because all I'm gonna be is like, oh, this sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll be able to make that funny and probably enjoy it. But I don't think, I don't think you guys would like it, and my heart wouldn't be in it 20%. And also, oh, Sage did the one freaking thing. It wasn't really a Violence Jack review, it was just pretty much, it was just pretty much a video, of, you know. Where Sage kind of goes through, like, oh, I can't do this. I can't make uh, rape or murder funny for, you know, for my fans. And, you know, he starts tripping out like it's, uh, what was that movie? Because it, it, it had kind of the same thing. And, uh, freaking, but at the end of it, the end of it, he did, like, an Evangelion thing. He's like, uh, he said, um, uh, you know, what Shinji said probably at the end of it. Like, yeah, my life matters, and I want to keep living in this world. I want to live here. And then everybody keeps, everybody said, congratulations. I was like, oh, God, I remember that. I mean, guys, I watched the thing, I watched Evangelion the whole way through, and it still sucked. From beginning to end, it just didn't disappoint. I was like, and even when Sage said it, and I just rem I just imagined Shinji saying it all over again. I'm like, you're still a useless character, Shinji. I mean, yeah, you kind of, you kind of did what you had to do, but still, to me, you kind of suck still. I mean, you probably grew, you grew a pair. You grew a pair. And you actually, you know, did something and blah blah blah. You like yourself and blah blah blah, but. Honestly, my friend, you're a useless character to me. <laughs> you're a useless character to me, and I will never, I will never truly like Evangelion. But back to my main point. People, I will never, and I repeat, I will never tease you with a review that I, myself, have no intention of doing. Yeah, I'm not like a big reviewer that has cutaways or... I could show you a clip and hope that YouTube doesn't go all booty, all freaking claims wild on me. You know, I can't promise you that either. I mean, maybe if I go to Blimp and I do stuff like that, and I get, like, DVDs of the video of the anime I'm reviewing, maybe. But, you know, like I said, I'd never tease you all with a review that I have no intention of doing. Because seriously, if I do even Gillian, you... I mean, all you Evangelion fans are going to feel it. <laughs> like, <laughs> you you guys are going to feel my hatred. Hatred for what? Evangelion. What's Evangelion? Something so horrible. I dare not... Is that on Neon Alley? Nope. I'm glad it's not. I'm glad it's not. So what is it all? It's just a show, Lawrence, on Adult Swim that sucked so much. That's the reason. It's the reason I call care. It's the reason I call other characters that have no value useless. Did uh, they cancel it? No. Trust me, man. If you go look for it, cool. But eh, I have no intention to review it. Okay, back to what I'm saying. You guys with my hatred, and you don't want me to do a full. I hate this thing review. I would like to see it. The review or Evangelion? Evangelion. I want to see what it's about. Good freaking luck. I'm going to watch it with you. Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be mean or anything, but I'll never watch that thing. Ever. What's Ever. <sighs> You'll see.
He'll see. Okay. Guys, what are you guys talking about? Evangelion? Good God, man. Are you actually thinking of reviewing that? No. I am. So, you know, you can keep your comments to yourself until I review it. I thought you don't like reviews. I don't like reviews. You don't like reviewers or reviews. No, I don't like critics. But I'm not giving a review. I'm going to just see what it is for myself so I can say if I like it or don't like it. Bugsy, I got one thing to say. I like myself here. I like living in this world. Zach, if you say, if you quote... Any more Evangelions, I will freaking scratch out your eyeballs. That's why he's the other guy. <laughs> you really scratch out my eyeballs? No. I think me and you have suffered and I think me and you have suffered enough violence. You fucking know. Oh, okay. No. No, But anyways, back to what I was saying, fellas. Back to what I was saying, guys. But I will pro I will say this. I will I will keep doing manga and I will do that Sonic freaking I will do that Sonic Gen Lost Worlds review. And also I'm gonna keep doing a, I'm gonna, we're all gonna keep doing Namco High. <laughs> it's gonna have a weird opening too. Like a freaking hair of anime. Everything's weird. So, yeah, and Sage even said it himself. He's like, I really still don't like Ava. <laughs> and I just, uh, you know, even the, I was just watching was like, me too. Me too. I freaking hate it. <laughs> you know, Alex saw the other thing he reviewed instead, uh, which was, oh, which was Read or Die, which was, a, which was an anime I enjoyed uh, back when G4, I mean, back when Tag TV was in, Combined with G four for a brief period, you guys know how that worked. Um, but what I really wanted to say, um, and also, it sucks that Cox is not carrying G four anymore. But I, you know, I don't really, I didn't really even watch G four after all the chan when the channels left. I just feel like, and again, they're talking about the Esquire net. Work, but yet they haven't showed anything from the Esquire Network. They're like from the new Esquire Network. I mean, if you're gonna take, a, and I know I'm gonna rant about this, but I'm talking about like things I won't review. Um, and people, I will never do creepy pasta stuff. Uh, you're on your own. There is some ordinary gamer. Just you know, go ahead and get your creepy pasta stuff from him. Me, I don't do that. Because, let me tell ya, I'm not a chicken, but, people, you want me to do my videos at my best, I'm not losing sleep. Sleep is a very precious commodity to me. Um, what was I about to say? I forgot what I said before. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, I said, um... But like I said about the G4 thing, if you're gonna get rid of two of the two of the shows that were still running on G4, freaking do the net. You should have did the network now. It's like freaking. It's like G4 is just there. You you guys didn't do anything with the new Esquire network. I mean, if it's still if it's the Esquire network, why aren't we seeing any shows from it? You keep you guys keep on talking about it. But are all but are any of you gonna even deliver on that promise? I mean you freaking cancel X Play, you end X Play, you end the tag of the show, and for what? Just so you can air heroes reruns and lost reruns? I really feel like that sucks. Because, you know, what was the point of ending your two biggest shows? The probably the only reason people still watch G four in the first place. Because those were the only things that had anything to do with gaming. You know, and expect people to still stick around after you took those two shows. Because they were the only reasons I still watched G4. Because other than that, it just devolved into like cops, cops, uh, freaking cops marathons, campus PD marathons, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But, you know, 
And it was cool when they brought back G4 Rewind, when they brought back freaking Portal. And brought back some of the old shows. As reruns, but it reminded you. I think they knew that they were gone. That's why they put that. That's why they put G4 Rewind up. But, uh, you know, it reminded you why you loved the channel in the first place. I remember the first time, the very first time, G4, um, I remember the very first time, G4, I saw G4, and it was beautiful. It had all, it had, it had cheats, it had blister, it had, it had everything, it had icons, which you found out, like, the game, the uh, process of games, you know, you know, there's a story about Mortal Kombat, there's a story about Spyro, a whole bunch of stuff, people. You know, and then they, you know, and it was great, and, you know, and it got greater, when, it got even better when uh, X-Play, it, it got even better when X-Play was on there. And seriously, uh, disregard the background noise. But anyways, it got better. It got better when uh, X-Play was on. Because people, I, uh, before, I mean, I didn't have cable TV. and I only had cable TV in one room. I had, like, digital cable in one room. I didn't have it in my room. I'd have to go out to the living room at one depending if I was home from school on that time, or if it was like, a, or if it was like President's Day or something, or a day where I was home from school, I'd have to cre I'd have to go in the living room at one and watch X play, and it would be new or old. I didn't really care, but I went in there anyway. But then when I got freaking digital cable for like my room, I was like, oh god, I'll never have to go out. And sneak to watch G4 ever again. I will just, I will just, I will just sit in my room and enjoy it. And really, I did. It was beautiful. I, you know, and it was just, I won, you know, and I'm like wondering, you know, nowadays, other than, you know, people say it's because of the internet and it's because you can get your gaming news pretty much on the internet and a whole bunch of other things. But I don't believe that's what stunned before. It's just, you know, it's basically because people were like, it's basically, it's basically, I don't know. Then I really feel like it's the network's decision that they took everything out of gaming. They took thing, they took things that they thought were popular for other people. I mean, popular with other people. And not with just the gamers, and just said, "Hey, let's put cops on here. Hey, let's put Campus PD on here. Let's put Web Soup on here. I love Web Soup because it had Chris Hardwick, and he's freaking awesome. He's freaking awesome. I, I, if you haven't seen him in the nerd, if you haven't seen him on in the Nerdist channel, dude, he's freaking funny. Um, you know, I like that better than Tosh Point and that was Web Soup, and it was better than Tosh Point because they had that, I saw that one episode where they, where they freaking, um, this dude on the street was freaking crazy, right? And the dude was like, I make movies. I make, I make movies. It's like, I make space movies. And this is gonna have Big Brother Thunder, Butt Naked Wonder, and the Master Blaster. They're gonna cut off the little boy's wee-wees. So all y'all men are gonna be pregnant with babies. You know, it, the, the crazy dude just said that. And I was like, really? He was just a crazy dude off the street. And I'm like, what? What did he just say? And I, I rewinded it because I had a, I had DV, I had DVR. And this was the days when I didn't know about X-Place. I mean, um, G4's imminent demise on I looked through it and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it was it was freaking funny. I like you know, most of the shows on G four and yeah, I talked about the stuff I didn't want to review. I guess it's just gonna be me rambling about whatever kind of video. It's me just rambling about whatever. Um a few other things. Mm, I was thinking I was thinking 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna re I'm gonna read. I'm going to do. I'm gonna do another thing that I could do. Um, sometime in the future, it's gonna be called fanfic theater, where I read, where I read, where I read your fanfics. And my cousin was trying to get my dog, my dog out my room so she could uh, use the bathroom. Anyways, so. But do you see what I mean, yo? Know, do you see what I mean sometimes? But when I talk about B.W. Rosen, and you guys talk about how all, you know he's got all these distractions, and you know he's got everybody like he got all this like noise and distractions whenever he does a video. That happens to me too, and yet you guys hate him. But you know my fans, y'all, you guys love me even though my videos are kind of bad sometimes. Um, you know. So I'm just saying, you know, lay off, you know, for some those of you that are still tripping about BW Roses, lay off the dude. He's an okay dude. He actually freaking he has the whole freaking collision to chaos uh arc. I didn't get the la I d I don't know what's going on. I didn't get the freaking last bit of that comic. I gotta freaking talk I gotta go see if my freaking RG subscription is still active or something. It's weird. So, anyways, <laughs> but not even the point. Um, God dang it! I'm gonna read your fan fiction, and it's gonna be freaking funny. But no Gowie fan fiction, and no tricking me about Gowie fan fiction. I'm not doing it. Okay, I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it. It has to have a good story. And it, you know, basically, it can be bad. It could be bad because bad would be good. Reading a bad fanfic would be kind of good. It'd get to be something to give leverage off of and make jokes off of. But you guys gotta understand. Um, you guys gotta understand. I will also be reading good anime. I mean, I will also be reading good fanfic from actual from. I'll be reading some good fanfic from people, from people that can do stories. I mean that. I mean not like people can't do stories, but you know what I mean. Like people that know these characters in and out, and they don't have them do like out of character stuff. And no freaking. And no, I'm not reading any gory My Little Pony fanfic. No, you guys can go. No Rainbow Factory. No cupcakes. No cupcakes too. Yes, there is a cupcakes too. How do I know that? You guys don't want to know. So no gory my little pony fanfic. I will read some stuff and I'm not reading any clopping fanfic fanfic either. But I will read some my little pony stuff that actually have good stories, like I said, and no out of character stuff. <coughs> one thing. One thing. And I'll tell you this. I'll tell you I'll tell all of you this. No, and I mean no. No characters that die suddenly. Because I hate stories like that. I hate stories like that. You kill off the main character in, in a certain series and you're like, oh, I mean, sometimes it works, but if you're doing it arbitrarily without, like, giving you some build-up, you know, some, like, build-up. <laughs> like, I hate it when people kill off tails in fanfic. I'm like, pfft. I also hate it when they make Sonic a douchebag uh, in some, like, Shad Amy stories. Why does Sonic always have to be the douchebag? Okay? Why can't Amy just, like, go, like, yeah, I don't want to be with Sonic anymore? Like, every time, like, every Shad Amy fanfic I've read, it's always, like, Sonic being, like, this big douchebag or being abusive or whatever. Why? I mean, why can't it just be Amy's... Why can't it just be Amy just wise enough to say, Oh, I want to be with Shadow. I mean, I mean, I understand the whole Shadow and Amy thing would never work. But if you're trying to make it work, don't make Sonic the douchebag. It's really annoying. Okay. Okay. A few other things. Um, okay, a few other things. I talked about, I'm not going to review Evangelion School Days. Uh... He, um, 
and a few other ones. And no, you will not be seeing any of them. The ones that say I wasn't going to review, you're not even going to see them on Mogoff. I mean, you'll probably see Evangelion on Mogoff. I can get it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you guys will hate that even more. Um, uh, a few other things. And sorry for the freaking drop in trumpet volume. I think I uh, can't, I uh, kind of having a little bit of a volume problem. Sorry. Okay, a few other notes, I li you know, a few other things that I'd like to say before I'm done. Um, Mogoff is coming tomorrow, hopefully, if nothing goes wrong, and today it was kind of almost touch and go there for a moment, like I was going to do it, I wasn't going to do it, but I was like, you know, I've been doing this and this and this all day, I want to do this. So, you know, that's what happened. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm still gonna do like the vlogs with you, with the dude that's whose name starts with a Z. I'm still gonna do that. You know, if you, and yeah, I'm gonna be doing a few other works of mine, and you know, a few old fanfic, and I'm going to I'm gonna revamp some of these fanfics I had, and you know, you for you guys and read them to you. So, yeah. Take note, it's kind of self-insertion fanfic, but it is good. Trust me. <laughs> I know self-insertion fanfic kind of sucks, but trust me. You don't know how I make it work. Okay? You'll like it. Hopefully. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pr pretty much it. Um, oh, also tomorrow if I have time. Um, I'm going to have, it's going to be me and, me and Pony Bugsy's review of one of the new My Little Pony episodes. Hopefully if we can get it going. Because, you know, I'm not going to just wait for Welcome to Ponyville to come back or, you know, Welcome to Ponyville Act 2 to come or freaking, um, Star Squirrel Academy. Even though those are things we're going to do whenever they come out. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Anything? Okay, I got one last thing to say. People always know. Always know that I will always be around either on YouTube or Blip whenever Blip decides to let in new accounts again to kind of, you know, I'll always be around to entertain. And trust me, I may offend or shock people along the way. If I do, I'm sorry. But if I offend some trolls, I don't really give a crap. I don't really even give a crap. I don't really, truly, honestly give a crap. But it would be messed up if I was on Feed the Trolls. Hey, I want you guys to know. I want some of you trolls to know out there. If anybody, if any of you trolls are watching this. Everything you do sometimes will be on Feed the Trolls. So I want you to know that. I was seeing some of you like react to it. I'm like, Pfft. I'm like, yeah. Maybe if you weren't such a douchebag, you wouldn't be free. You guys wouldn't be featured on Feed the Trolls. That's all I gotta say. Oh, and um, whenever Perfect Phoenix uh contacts me, last thing, whenever Perfect Phoenix actually contacts me on what we're going to do about a certain machinima project that I still do the voice popo in. Yeah, I talk, you know, I talk like this. Whenever that happens, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, tell you. But, uh, he hasn't contacted me, so I don't really know if he's still doing it. I, I really have to talk to him. I haven't talked to him since, uh, he said he was gonna redo the certain machine that he was gonna do, and I'm still doing them. And he asked me, uh, 
me, asked me, Bugsy, do you still want to do the voice of Popo? And I was like, yeah, I still want to do the voice. So, I still want to voice him. He's like, okay. So, I haven't seen any kind of script yet or anything, so I don't know. I mean, if you guys were all excited. Because I think I freaking put that on Tumblr. Like, I still got the voice of Popo. I'm so happy. Um, still. Because it was the only, because it's really my first machinima that I'm, that, uh, actually went all the way through. Because sometimes, uh, when I, I know this video's dragging on so long, and I said I was, this would be the last thing, and it is. Like, every time I try to, you know, audition for a machinima or fan dub, it never works well for me. I kind of try to, I try to do it, but it feels, you know, it's like, I, I have bad luck with it. But sometimes, people, sometimes it works, you know. I honestly, I honestly love, you know, voicing for, you know, voicing for, like, you know, auditioning for stuff like that because it's fun. And I don't do, I don't do it because I inspire, I, I want to be a voice actor, I want to be a voice actor, voice acting some cartoons or whatever. Though, though, that would be nice if I voiced in some anime. Because, you know, I do like anime. You know, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, but as it goes, you know, I just like doing it for fun. But if any of you, and this, I don't want it to be like, oh, if you have a part, like I'm desperate or anything. I'm just saying, if any of you have, if you guys have a part, I'll be right for, you know. Granted my vocal range, you know, just shoot me a little, shoot me a PM, and I'll see. You know, you just tell me what, tell me what you want to. A lot, of, a lot of people that freaking have me audition stuff, they either want me to sound just like this dude, like an imitation of this dude that they couldn't get in the machinima. You know, any kind of dude, like probably. One time, um, I was trying to do a, um, wolf voice, uh, but they wanted me to sound like, uh, Shock Dingo. Yeah. So I was like, eh. I can't do, I, let's just say I can't do it. But, you know, like I said, tell me, like, a specific thing what you want now. See if I can try and convey that. And, dude... If you're gonna be brutally honest, just just do it quickly. Because let's just say I got into a I got into a rumble rumble in the Badlands, uh, rumble in the Badlands fan dub back when I was still doing uh, like back when I was trying to get people to help me out in Sonic Freedom Fighters. Um, you know. Uh, so, hey, I'll voice in some stuff, you know, gotta get, kinda get me going, you know, for fun, for kicks. Um, I tried voicing for Vash, and, uh, she was the person, and she was the she, she was brutally honest. I think I would have made a very good Vash, because, you know, I watched Try Again, and I actually can do his voice some justice, because, you know, I really think I can. I just couldn't scream in pain, and that was like the one thing I can do. It didn't sound convincing enough when I tried. Yo, now I can go like, <coughs> uh, I can make it sound like I'm in pain. But uh, back then it was just so hard, and I don't know why. But you know, it's what it is. Um, you know, she was brutally honest. I was like. I was like, oh, I'm not voice acting ever again. But you know, Perfect Phoenix was like, dude. I'm like, dude. Because I did have a voice. I did have a voice demo. A voice demo of me doing various uh, voices. Um, various voices in anime. I had to do. I don't know what happened to it. It, it, it disappeared. Um, but I did a pretty. I did. Pre I did a pretty okay job. You know, you know, I did a pretty okay job, but Perfect Phoenix didn't see that, but he just gave me a chance. He was like, boom, you're in. I was in. That's it. Oh, late, 
Oh, and I'm just, I'm done. I'm done, ram I'm done rambling for the time being. See you guys later. Bye, folks.